In today's video, we have a full review of this right here, the Dragon Door Isomax. Try to get a good, <laughs> we'll have better camera angles <laughs> right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Garage Gym. As you saw in the top of the video, we have a full review of the Dragon Door Isomax. I have to name Dragon Door, and that first part of the name, ISO, uh, catches your attention is because we have many reviews, updated reviews, and also full workout reviews of the original Dragon Door ISO chain. And the ISO Max claims to be an upgrade to the ISO chain. So in this video, we're going to do a full review of the ISO Max, but we're also going to compare the characteristics, the specs, dimensions, and everything in between when it comes to the ISO chain versus the ISO Max. And then you can decide which one you prefer. I'm not quite sure. I've used both of these. I've used the ISO chain for well over a year. I've used the ISO Max a handful of times, mostly because my spine infection doesn't really allow me to get into certain hip hinging positions, but isometrics are excellent to be able to strengthen my lower back and strengthen all my atrophied muscles from the set infection. So we're gonna go through all that. Also, I'm gonna show you using the ISO chain and the Isomax, the same exact exercises, and how I feel organically as I switch from one to the other. So let's get started. We're gonna go with the physical characteristics and all that stuff. Once again, timestamps will be in the description as well as the pinned comments, so you can jump to whatever you want to, but we're gonna be as detailed as possible because neither one of these pieces of equipment are cheap, and you definitely wanna make the most informed consumer decision, and that's what we try to do here at the YouTube channel. So please subscribe like the video, comment, and share it with anybody who might be interested in this type of content. So we're gonna look at the base of both of these isometric products. On the left is the Dragon Door ISO chain. On the right is the Dragon Door ISO Max. And you can automatically see right off the bat, uh, besides the materialistic differences between these two bases, uh, the ISO Max on the right sits up higher than the ISO chain platform base, whatever you want to call it, on the left. Also, the attachment point where you attach, where you're going to get the bar and chain isometrics is different as well. And we're going to show that when we get to it, but just to let you know, you can see over there on the ISO chain, there's a little hole that the spring goes into. And on the Isomax on the right here, you actually put the nylon strap or material underneath the channel on this in order to engage and get the bar and chain isometric. So not really a chain, you're using nylon over here, but you're using a chain on the ISO chain. Well, that's what they call it, the ISO chain. So there you go. But those are the differences. Also material, that is uh, stainless steel or metal. This is made of a composite material. So this is a lot lighter than this. Obviously gonna be a lot less noisy. We will do a noise test on both of these. Uh, but the pattern of the grill right here, or the grate, I should say, matches up. It's just the material uh, is different on both of these and also the height on the Isomax. Some people could think that's a positive or they could feel like it's a negative. So the attachment points on the platforms between the ISO chain and the Isomax are different as well. We have right here, just a hook that goes through that hole right there, and then you'll attach the chain through uh, some hooks there, cabinier, I always pronounce, pronounce that. On the Isomax, it has a channel underneath, that's why it sits up higher than the ISO chain because your attachment goes through this channel for this. Also, you can use a power band, pretty thick one if you wanna go really heavy on that, but you can use resistance bands and use this kind of like, like an X3 bar type of setup if you're familiar with that piece of equipment. And then this comes over here. And what you wanna do is make sure the numbers are facing you or at least facing up so you know what number that you're gonna pick uh, for the adjustment point of that. And also we have the hook right there. So what I do is, I, there's different ways I've seen on YouTube where people hook it up. But basically what I'm looking at here, as long as we can get it to where it doesn't fold over and twist, it's kind of a tough thing to do. Take this off here, make sure we get enough to make sure 
that goes all the way down and then we can put that underneath there. Like I said, I'm gonna get the hang of this. And once again, this is twisted. I like to have that flat. That's my OCD kicking in. But this is where you will have hooked up like that and down there. So you can also put it through here if you want to, but I found that it works fine doing that and it's strong enough and there's enough torque to keep it tight. Plus your feet will be on the platform as you use it, making it, you know, pretty sturdy. So here we have the two different uh, materials. Obviously this is already hooked up, ready to go, but on the ISO chain, you need to do one or two more steps. So we're just gonna take this here and you can see we have a lot of hardware right here that will connect right into the hook. And then I can even lock that in if I choose to do so and make sure everything is good. Right there, got a little bit of rust. So we have that right there. And then we have, that's, there's your noise, the noise test right there. This is very loud and I do my workouts very early in the morning. So that'd be the one negative uh, of the ISO chain, one huge negative is the noise. It sounded like one of the ghosts from the, a Christmas carol as you're walking into Scrooge's bedroom. And obviously over here, it's already hooked up in one step. So I got a little twisted, that's my fault. But you're done and there's no noise at all. So the advantage for at least noise and obviously the weight because this platform weighs quite a bit. The chains, uh, the hooks, the spring, all are beefy and weigh a good bit. Uh, whereas the Isomax is super light, can bring it anywhere and the portability and the weight. They're both portable, but this is gonna make a lot more noise. This is gonna be a lot more pronounced, especially outdoors, maybe at the beach. And also it's gonna be more cumbersome to carry around than the Isomax would be for somebody. So here we have the bars right here, the control, the digital feedback and everything for your isometric workouts. Uh, here is the ISO chain, here is the Isomax. How can I tell the difference? Two big differences right here, actually three, uh, if you look closer, but basically this has a white uh, background for the buttons on the ISO chain and on the Isomax, we have it all blacked out. And a lot of people like that improvement on the Isomax. Another thing for the Isomax is they move to position of this hook right here where uh, the cabinier goes. I can never pronounce that, maybe I did it correctly, but it's in the center. And this one here, you see it's more so towards the screen, towards the top a little bit where the Isomax is in the center. You can see maybe a little bit how that is different right there. So when we go to the top, they're in different positions. Another thing is, since we're right here, we have a battery here that goes into the ISO chain. My battery just died last week. And here we have a rechargeable USB-C port with a rechargeable battery in here. Uh, how do I feel about that? I'll probably start giving my feelings about the differences right here. I love how they updated this. I love where they repositioned this. I'm not so sure I like this because rechargeable batteries tend to lose cells. They tend to lose, they, they degrade. So the, if you use this all the time and you have to charge it very often, which you don't really have to charge it that often, um, it's going to be something two years, maybe three years where the battery could be dead and as this is useless. So for this uh, and long-term stuff, I would have preferred them to stay with this, even though people think, oh, I just plug it in, charge it, it's ready to go. It's even easier to carry around. I shouldn't cut my fingernails. It's even easier to get a double A battery. I think there's, yeah, one double A or two double A's in there. I'm not quite sure, I'll put it in below. I haven't, I, this is literally the first time I've had to change the batteries out since I had it well, well over a year, maybe going on 18 months to two years right now. Uh, so using all that, but if that battery degrades, like I can't, it can't be understated that you can't get into this and how is it gonna get serviced or is it just gonna be disposable? These are uh, products that are not cheap and you wanna be able to use it two, three, four, five, ten 10 years down the road in order to have uh, the most bang for your buck. So I, this is something for future proofing as far as 
everybody's going away of rechargeable batteries. I, I just don't know about something like this. Okay, so we are back. We are going to now work out on both the Isomax and the ISO chain. We're gonna put the dedicated handles on each of these isometric devices. We did some cardio and warmed up. Plus the garage is about 100 degrees, so it's nice and warm. Let's start the Apple Watch up. Now we're gonna do a basic uh, six second hold. And what I believe I'm gonna do is either one set of each or two sets of each to give you kind of an idea. Uh, I am very limited because of my back mobility, so deadlifts and squats are not gonna be strong at all. But this is a good starting point for me to get back into really just firing off my lower body and getting it used to when I am gonna put weight uh, using a squat max or any kind of other lower body movement. So let's uh, take the bar here. Hopefully all the camera angles are getting everything that we need. We have this here. This is the ISO max one because it's blacked out. Then we have the ISO chain, which is right here on the white. And we are gonna power both of these up, attach them. And just like everything else, like when we talk about the ISO chain, we got to set it up to the right height so that that could take a little bit of time. Uh, but with the ISO max, you have these numbers, which you can see here on the bottom and even up to the top. You have numbers where you can basically write those numbers down and be able to see exactly uh, where you're supposed to be. I haven't referenced those yet, but I have a general idea about the ISO chain lengths and where they go. So. We're gonna start off with deadlifts, which I'm a little scared of. So we're gonna do deadlifts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it out here so I can see the number right here. And then what I do is I take the hook here and I'm gonna get an idea probably about maybe eight. Now on the deadlift and on the squats, I'm gonna be at the top. There's the lower, mid, then high. I'm gonna go high because if I go too low, it just feels weird on the deadlift, but I'm gonna be like up here trying not to round my back out uh, and using the isometric. So let's start with the ISO chain, or ISO max. See, I'm gonna mess this up. ISO max, turn it on. And you can see right here, and I have it set already for time for six seconds and um, I think a lower weight. So let's do around that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 120 pounds just to make sure. And then it'll flash and time will come up. You can see the ISO chain uh, dedicated reviews where I go over all that and I'm gonna do a mixed grip. See, it, it had to come up a little bit. So this is actually a little bit higher than I wanted to. I gotta make sure it's taut. That's a little higher than I want to, but I'm gonna go with eight, maybe switch to seven here. Yeah, there it is. Now the speaker is louder on the Isomax as opposed to the ISO chain. So that's a good thing right there. And here I think we have it already set up for this. And we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna hook this down here. Now that's the thing there, the hook kind of comes out there and we're about at the same place. Now I'm a little bit lower, obviously the platform's a bit lower on the ISO chain than the Isomax but I'm gonna come up here, turn it on, time. Oh, I got 200 here, that's probably too much. Go to 120, let it flash, and we are ready to go. I'm sweating already, and here we go. Ah, I went too soon. <laughs> All right, let's just go backwards. Something's uh, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Guess what's happening is I must have had a bad battery because it keeps flashing on and off. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that. We're at 110 after one set. So now what I'm gonna do with the Isomax. Here's my impression, by the way. It feels a little off-putting to be this high. Having my feet closer to the floor with this metal platform almost feels better. I understand the upgrades here, but I'm just giving my honest opinion as they're next to each other, I'm using them. So let's uh, go back to the Isomax. Let's, uh, what I do is I'll be careful so I don't drop it. I put that down, loop this through, get my ponytail out of the way. I'm gonna drop to a seven right here. Seven might be the top point for me, I could probably go even a little bit lower. 
go over here. There we go. Next grip, that feels a little bit better. Right there, it's gonna have a little bit of give. So you wanna make sure it's taut when you test it and then do that. Turn it back on. And here we go. Ah. Ah, I forgot to turn time on. There we go. <laughs> ah, you get out of sorts. That's bonus. Right, so isometrics. Ah. Okay. Set two. I'm sweating. My back is a little rounded out. You saw it in the camera over here. I'm trying to engage my legs more and get some of my back, but my mobility is so terrible right now. Whew, let's go over to here. I'm just gonna count backwards. Whew, kinda going very quick back and forth, so I'm getting weaker. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, let me see if time works here. I'm sorry, maybe I hit the T off by mistake. Let's double check it. There we go. Ah, so you barely hear it because the speaker location is right against my body. So that's why you're not able to really hear it. I usually go reverse with the speaker out. So that's a problem right there uh, as far as design of the original ISO chain. You have to turn it around and be reversed and have the speaker going away from you. I remember that little hack that I did with it while I'm sweating. So let's do squats now. Once again, start with the Isomax. I take this off, make sure that doesn't break because that's, that's not cheap to replace. Bring it out here. What I'm gonna do is kind of measure it up to where I'm kind of maybe gonna be not at 19, maybe 18. So what I'm gonna do is a front squat here with a, a double underhook. I'm actually gonna lower this even more, hit time, lower the weight down to probably 70 pounds just to make sure that I can get it. See, that's even a little bit too high here. So this is what I mean, that this, you can actually write down the number and that makes it a great advantage. I'm gonna go 16 on this, loop it around like that. And then, all right, I hope this is sweat proof because I am sweating get my feet on here. Now I want to point out to the rounded out part because you have to bring it through that channel. That's a good design choice, but for where I want to place my feet, it doesn't give me as many options to go narrow, wide, 45 degree or anything like that. I can barely do that here, but on the ISO chain platform, it's just one flat piece of metal. So here we go. Ah, nice. Okay, so that's pretty easy because I remember the number. The ISO chain, it's chain links. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna disconnect this, and then I'm gonna have to figure out where this goes from memory. So I'm just gonna take the chain, come up. See how loud that is? That's the disadvantage of this right here. So. I'm thinking maybe right there. I'm way too high on the high, high part of the squad, but I wanna be safe because like I said, I don't have much back mobility. So I wanna be safe. Now I'm gonna point the speaker away from me and there's very little, I must've put a bad battery in here. So that's my fault. Time. And let's bring it down to 70. And that's pretty high right there. So that's got a little bit more because that chain and they, even the spring, get, I got to judge it differently than the numbers. But I'm going to bring up here and go almost to standing like a, just a, a squeeze of my quads. That time you should have heard it a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring it down a couple chain lengths just to, there we go, about three chain lengths for set number two. And I might even bring down the ISO max for that as well. So here we go right here. 
Now I'm at 17. So what I probably want to do, actually 16. So I probably want to do is drop that a little bit more. I know we're kind of just doing this organically. I want to kind of show you the differences and what you can expect from this. I'm going to go down to 14. That might be a little lower than that. All right. Then I take the hook and all I do is just spin it around rather than try to fight that and just spin it around, bring it here. Okay. And let's see, I'm a little bit lower now. So this is about the low to midpoint for the squad. I didn't hit time. Come on, man. <laughs> ah. Oh, Lord. Let me bring this back here so I don't get the wire all caught up. Okay, so. Man, that's tough. So now we move this. So once again, the speaker is away from me, I believe. Now I'm gonna turn it so it's away so you can hear the beeps and so I can hear the beeps. And it's a little bit higher than that. But like I said, I'm judging it based on size and the height of the platforms. It's, it's hard to gauge this. <laughs> I'm slipping. <laughs> ah! Rah! Whew! Oh, man. Oh, let me take a drink. So in this position, at the high point of the, of the, uh, of the squat, I should be able to do um, isometric bicep curls. So we're gonna give that a shot here. There's a little bit two different levels here, but I'm gonna do that hold there and then over here. I don't think, I think the next one's gonna be um, the press right here and maybe triceps because I'm not really feeling it. But like I said, this ISO max and the ISO chain for isometrics for my lower body, got to slow down a little, for isometrics for my lower body are very, very important to fire that off because I'm able to do dynamic movements along with isometric for the upper body, but the lower back, legs, all that stuff has been atrophied for so long that it's just tough and my heart rate's way up there. So let's go. We got 70, so I should be okay. And this is like, I guess the low curl, because you can go low, me, and mid, then high. All right. <laughs> ah! Ah! Whew. That felt good. All right, now we got a little bit higher of one here. And I, that's, I'm getting tired, which is okay, because we're doing them back to back, almost two long sets in a row, two six second holds. All right. I want to tell you something right now. Did you see when I did that? Oh, oh God, that hit me low. Oh, that hurt. I think I prefer that just because I just hit myself in the, in the you know what. I'm not able, not able to get it. I have to lower the weight on this, just two back to back. Uh, but, oh. Oh, the chain got me right in the you know what. Oh, I gotta walk that off. Oh, let's try one more set. We're gonna reset that to a lower weight and then we'll be able to get the beeps. So let's uh, do this. We've recovered, I, I caught my breath. That knocked the wind out of me. This is a, a lot better right here. <laughs> and that chain, that's a very sensitive area. Hey, comment below and let me know if you've done that with the ISO chain. Ah. Ah. I just want to see what the max is real quick. 98, 98.4, not, not great, but not bad. Let's go to this one. Let's see where we're at on uh, weight. I'm gonna drop that down. All right, and it dropped the weight considerably. Let's see if we can get some beeps. Six second hold. Ah, almost, almost. Whew. What I wanna say is like, we can go into a bunch of different exercises. We can go into 
rows, seated rows, standing rows, um, reverse curls, incline press, even on the Isomax. And we're going to demonstrate, excuse me, we're going to demonstrate it on another updated review video because I haven't quite got down flat bench press. You don't need the platform. You just need the nylon and the bar. And you can do flat bench on the floor, which is almost impossible with the ISO chain. You can do it, but this makes it very easy to wrap the nylon around your chest and push. If you want to see videos on that, uh, visit my buddy No Limit Squad. He has ISO chain, ISO max, isometric stuff all over his YouTube channel. Highly, highly recommended. Um, but we are going to get to that, like basically, in its own dedicated uh, update video for the ISO Max. I just figured it'd be beneficial to do this, this comparison between the ISO Max and the ISO chain in the very first full review video, because that's going to be the first question everybody asks. Like, okay, this is great, costs this much, but is it worth the upgrade over the ISO chain? Or is the ISO chain worth saving a little bit of money or the convenience, portability, lightness, quietness of the ISO Max? worth it i i don't know right now i'm still really really in love with the iso chain and the ergonomics of the iso chain this platform is going to take a little bit to get used to but i will say this the actual iso max bar the speaker um the buttons the blacked out stuff everything i think they even upgraded the grip uh to be more of a tough rubberized grip but it feel they both feel good in the iso chain has held up extremely well. I would say it's a toss up because this, the Isomax makes it so much more, you have so much more accessibility to go anywhere you want and do it anywhere you want with the beach, outdoors. Also the channel underneath gives you the ability to put a power band there and to be able to do like the X3 bar and stuff like that. Those kinds of exercises with dynamic movements to go along with your isometric movements. I think, uh, it's just a strong choice. It's tough. I'm going to have to maybe do an updated comparison review between these two because I'm really not sure. There's, it's a mixed bag. I like a lot about the Isomax, but there's probably a reason why the ISO chain over here was around for so long uh, without really any kind of competition in the bar and chain isometric field in that category because it's just incredible. Uh, one of the complaints, too, about... The ISO chain is the flex of the platform. I'm not that strong. Maybe other people are stronger, but I've never had a problem with it staying flex. If I'm going really heavy on deadlifts or squats, it pops up a little bit, but not enough, and it goes back to the flat form that you see right here. The Isomax isn't going to have that problem. My one question about the Isomax platform is, if you push it too hard, are you literally going to crack the, the composite material or plastic or whatever this is made of? It's just going to crack and break, and then it's done. Or does it have a weight rating that far exceeds what anyone could really lift using this isometric device with the platform? I don't know. We're going to get the answers from Dragon Door from the next video. Uh, but if you decide to go with either the ISO chain or the ISO Max, we do have an affiliate link. We highly recommend Dragon Door for their isometric, not only the devices, the equipment, but also the books that they have, convict conditioning, and the ISO, the ISO isometric manual. I use that a lot. They even give you a little uh, paper quick start program with the ISO Max, and I believe still with the ISO chain. It's an incredible value. I think it's not cheap, but look at how the ISO chains held up almost two years later. It's like it's still brand new, and I like it a lot. Uh, the Isomax makes it a tougher call, uh, but man, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide because half of the features and the specs, I lean towards the ISO chain. The other half, I lean towards the Isomax. It's not even really a clear winner, and I hate doing that, but it really is coming down to what your preference is and what the accessibility and also um, the noise level too could be the number one thing if you work out in the morning and you have family or friends sleeping, that could be something. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Please comment below. Like I said, we have affiliate links in the description in the pinned comment. Please use those, whether it's this for Dragon Door, Force USA, Diamondback Fitness, or anything else in the recommended brands from Steve Richards Fitness. Uh, we tested them. We also know the company. We know the individuals. And they really do take a great passion 
uh, or have a great passion about their products, and that's why we have them as recommended brands. So most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.